new, 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 new. All right, first up. New, yes. In new products, we've got a ton of letters. Okay, we did not put in 26 images. I didn't want to do that. Because I think you... We we also, um, we're in a time today. We skipped the nudes. We're going to do that next week. Don't worry about it. Yeah, well, no, we did those last week. No, not those long ones. There's more. Oh, really? Okay. So anyway, We already have like 50 new products. The way that we did this was we put these in um, and, you know, you could spell new and stuff like that, but you could see all of them, A through Z. Let me just say something real fast because people have emailed. They're like, where's the numbers? And they've zooted and zorted and blue sky and... What are blue sky things flapped called? Flappers. Uh, what are blue? Zeets? Uh, Zeets. Clouds. Clouds. <laughs> um, but this is... Uh, we made a video. So yeah, so this is a video I did as a demo just to show you about the size of them. You can see my hand. Yeah. Um, they light up. They are basically LEDs that are three volts, 50 milliamps. So you can do them in series, um, one after the other, and then you just need to add three volts, three volts, three volts, and then add a resistor to just, you know, because there's some variation. Um, so if you have 12 volts, you can then have four letters for your favorite four letter word. And then um, you just need a resistor just to keep the, the current from getting too high. Cause like it's, like I said, they're just resistors. Or if you want them in parallel, treat them in parallel. Um, each one is approximately three volts. I'll just show the back. So it, it is a non-flexible PCB. Um, it's a very thin PCB, so there is some lighting from the back, but they definitely look best from the front. So you can, you know, you can see them from the back, but then the letters yeah, look great. backwards anyways. They look great. Um, we'll be getting numbers soon. Yeah. And uh, the other thing is, um, let me just go back here. So we also had, you, you mentioned we had these um, longer... These, yes. We so have, these are these are these are longer versions of what we showed. Three hundred millimeter long uh, nudes. They're single ended, three volts. You know, we got a cool store. This is a cool store. This is a cool. This is a this is a cool this store. Is a cyberpunk future that you. Yeah, this is a cool store. There's actually a lot of glowy stuff this week. This is nice. Okay, uh, let's just keep moving along here. Uh, single ended nudes. Yeah. Double ended single. -ended. Okay. okay. And there's this next by customer request and it's such a brilliant idea so we had these white led backlights that were from tfts and what's funny is that um i don't know if you remember but when we went to burning man we made little like necklaces out of these to like so that people wouldn't run us over i don't know if you remember but we got like led backlights i got them from like mp mprj yeah. mpjrc or i don't know what the name of it i think they went out of business anyways mm -hmm. These are just the backlights, RGB backlights that would go to an RGB TFT. So like a 20 by four or a two by 16 or whatever. That's cool. Um, they're just RGB LEDs, but they have this amazing diffuser. So they have a very smooth It color. looks like what you want an EL panel to be. It's exactly. But it's not squealy. But it doesn't I mean, squeak. And you, you could cut it, but it's a little it's messy. Like a dolphin. Okay. <laughs> so just to show you, like there is a little bit of... There's a little hot spot. It's actually not, really. not as noticeable in person. In person, you can't see it on a. It's camera. on a camera, but the the color, other than this tiny little spot, is like totally even That's and cool. smooth. And there's a little protector on it. For I'll say the back for doesn't us. look so good because you can see the little diffuser. Um, but we, I mean, they're just like super That's cool. cool. Then, so one tip I try to tell people: you can mask this, so yeah. you can cut vinyl, yeah, um, like black vinyl, and put it on top. This one. And then, like, to make a design. So, like, I wouldn't cut it, but you can yeah. mask it with something that doesn't let light through. Yeah. So, like, thick, like, electrical tape or um, and this plastic. Is like when they're not on. Yeah. And they're just RGB LEDs. By the way, if you look at the quarters that yeah. we use to show sizes, sorry, everybody, not in the US, but you kind of know what a quarter is. Um, we had to pick something. And this is something, and it's interesting because now there's all sorts of uh, celebrating women in science and more. And this is Vera Rubin, who is now being credited for um, theorizing dark matter, which may or may not be real. No one knows what most of the universe is made out of, but super cool. And uh, Vera Rubin is now someone that people know who she is, and it's now on the back of the quarter. So that's what that is. And it says dark matter on the back of a quarter. That's cool. And we use that for our photos. Anywho, um, well, let's sign here. so this is what they look like. Very cool. Pretty cool. Um, yeah. Okay, next. We have a bunch of variants. This week is a variant week. Um, so 
a lot of people like ask like, oh, can you make this, but do like something slightly different? And I kind of put it off. And then this week I sort of just did them all. Sure. So this is um, a max three, two, four, three, like a full, all bits, all eight bit RS-232 level shifter converter from three to five volts up to like plus minus whatever, six, 10 volts. And um, I had this with the DE9F, the female, the socket version. Now we have it with the DE9M, the male pin version. Apparently some people are like, I don't want to use a little like connector changer thingy. I just want to use this. So now we have this. Congratulations. Um, it's a variant, same price. So you don't have to use a converter or cable. Okay. Next up, we have okay. a version of the temperature humidity trinky, which people really like. It had the SHG45. By request, we now have version with the PTFE filter. It's like a little white dot in the center. You can barely see it. It is a dollar more-ish um, because the filter makes it more expensive. But if you want it to be uh, last a little bit longer from like dirt or oil um, or whatever dust in the area, the SHG45 with PTFE works exactly the same, but it has a filter built in. Next. Next. Um, we put in the DAC 7578 like a week or two ago, 12 bit DAC. It's a little pricey. Look, it, you know, it's what it is. It's a really great analog devices chip. Sorry, TI chip. Don't sue me, ADI. Um, but now we have it with the 10 bit version, which is a lot more affordable. Um, and for many use cases, 10 bit is perfectly fine. 12 bit is actually when DACs get a little bit expensive. I squared C control. Eight outputs. Uh, you can use, you know, pretty high speed I squared C. Um, it's kind of one of the only eight bit, sorry, eight output DAC. So you can do a full octave of voltage control. Okay. And then last up, the star of the show besides you, Lady Ada, our team, the community publishing open source software and hardware with licenses and uh, not taking people's names off and doing more stuff um, is. The Metro, and um, every time we launch a new Metro, I play this like little montage of uh, New York City and our Metro line. So here it is, and then we're gonna jump right into the Metro product. So the RP2350 Metro, which we actually just got some more in stock, people love it. It's got like everything. It's got your Arduino compatible layout for using shields. It's got um, a buck converter. It can do like, you know, 12, 6 or 12 volt, 20 volts in, um, down to, you know, 5 volts. It's got USB serial. It's got HSTX output for doing DVI and video. We have a bunch of tutorials on that. It's got a micro SD card. It's got semi QT. It's got boot button. It's got debug port. What so much stuff! It, 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 another USB uh, pinout for USB host. Now it's also coming with PS RAM. So eight megabytes of PS RAM, sixty megabytes of flash. So if you're doing projects that you need like a lot of storage, both program and RAM, um, what's neat is. Um, Arduino and Pico SDK and CircuitPython all pretty much automatically can detect the PS RAM. And then um, in Pico SDK and Arduino, I think you have to use a special command to allocate the large buffer you want on the PS RAM and CircuitPython all to kind of magically do the right thing. Um, it's a little slower than the built-in SRAM, but for a lot of use cases where you're just like, look, I need a gigantic buffer. I want to, um, like, we're, you know, we're doing an emulator project and we're like, we want to put the ROM, like the Game Boy ROM in PS RAM. Um, so you can have instant access because you can have um, fast writes, fast reads. The PS RAM, don't forget, it's volatile. So when you reboot, it's gone. Um, but still, PS RAM is awesome and eight megabytes will definitely get your project going. New York Sardis Club, powerful. the Metro RP2350. This place has everything. Get on the train. We got Eskimos on snowboards. Choo choo. Okay. Uh, that's, that's new it. products. New, 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 new.